package has been through the mills as the outer packaging had a footprint on it, but it all survived. <laughs> and then I also am gonna show you, we're gonna open day eight of the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, advent calendar. So make sure you stick around to the end to see that. Or if you don't wanna see it, cause you haven't opened yours yet, you can just watch the haul and then leave. I'll give you a warning. Oh, anyway, let's do it. Now that I'm opening it, there is a little bit of damage to one of the sticker sheets, but not so much that I can't use it. And this free journaling card is a little beat up. <laughs> it's the first time it's ever happened to me, but you know, what can you do? Yeah, but it just says this parcel does not contain cute stationery, definitely not. And then on the back, there's the thank you for the order, a place to put your beans, um, your coffee beans to collect the samplers, special ones, which she has actually just updated recently to a collection that are, is based around different artists. And this has actually changed. She used to have an emoji telling a joke, but now she has the emoji at the bottom. And this is really cute. It's actually gonna be really useful in a theme I'm gonna be doing soon. Anyway, yeah, so <laughs> that's the journaling card. And then as well as that, you get a little sticker sheet free with every order you get from Coffee Monsters Co. And this one says, wake up early. And that's how I feel about it. Sleep in, stay up late an early night. I hope she actually releases them in proper sticker sheet sets because they're very handy to have. Anyhow, right. So let's start with the kits that I ordered and this is where the damage is. If you look at the very bottom of this, um, there's that little bit of damage and here they're bent, but hopefully they will straighten out over time. That's frustrating. Anyway, right, so this is the Out of the, wo out of the Woods Hobonichi Cousin Kit. Um, and this is, she has four biomes collection. So I already own the desert one and the ocean one, and this is the one that is the forest, Out of the Woods. It's really adorable, I love all the colors. And Hobonichi, you get six little boxes. And then the flags up here, she's changed the format slightly in these. And then they used to be. Let me get one of the other biomes out and I'll show you how it's changed. See the way this is, this is the desert one. You get, in the old version, you got two flags and then two smaller flags. Whereas here you get this style of flag, happy moment, an envelope and a package. And then up here you get four to-dos, important highlights habits this week. This one you get one this week and then the rest are to-dos, so small changes. And then this is the second page, which has also changed. So here, instead of getting these ombre boxes, you get arrows. And then instead of just getting one row of the dots, you get two rows. Instead of getting the two speech bubbles, you get one long speech bubble and then a short one with the emoji head. I actually quite like the changes. I mean, I'm not like, you know, particularly fussed one way or the other, to be honest, but I do prefer this new one if I had to choose. Um, this is the third sheet, which is a newer sheet. So it hasn't changed because she's only just designed it and that's the new style. So you get bottom washi, arrows, habit trackers, days of the week, full box, and then all these little flags here. So I got the actual Hobonichi kit, and then as usual, I got a set of the full boxes from that would normally fit like an Erin Condren standard size. So not all who wander are lost, and you get the happy emoji with the deer, scenery box, there's always a box that has this empty part in the middle that you can actually write in the box with a little bear peeking up. A bunch of sleeping <laughs> This is really cute. She actually has a video out where she designed this kit and it was really interesting to see her thought process and how she drew it. But anyway, yeah, so then a little emoji writing with an ink bottle and a pen, forest, like a bunch of trees rather, and then an emoji with a bird on its head peeking out a tree. So I love that little kit and I'm properly annoyed that that got mucked up, but <laughs> there's not much I can do about it. And it's not Helen's fault, definitely. So then this is the last in the collection and it's the Icy Wonderland. Now there should be actually, um, cause I always get a set of do the doodles, large doodles and the sticky notes, but I, there's a pile of stickers over there. So they're probably in among that. But anyway, 
So this is Icy Wonderland. So Hope and HE version. I'll go through the boxes and the food boxes because it's easier to see. And that's the new layout as well. And then that's the second page. This has to be one of my favourite stickers ever and I don't know why. It just makes me so happy even looking at it. And his wee jumper and hat. Adorable. And then that's the last sheet with all the emojis playing in the ice. <laughs> oh dear, her heart's amazing. Brightens my day up. Okay, so here's the full boxes. So you have cozy emoji reading by the fire, scenery box, the box you can write in. There's some emojis playing in the ice. Awesome. <laughs> Dance under sparkling lights. Favourite food box. Yeah, so then a pattern and then that part um, that was at the bottom of here in an actual food box. Yeah, so another two kits to add to the collection. I'll leave them to the side. And then I got some sticker sheets and these weren't damaged at all, thankfully. This I've got before and I've used all three, but I wanted to get it again. They are day headers. So uh, I used the log ones just recently for my November theme. And then I actually used these throughout, must have been the month of September. Um, yeah, anyway, these are leaves and these are scarves. And then I actually have emojis carrying the bins out and then I have like little tiny bins with other types of bins beside it. But this is a new version she did. Um, it's guard, garbage emoji icons. And it never hurts to have too many of something that you use every week, if you know what I mean. Because you get to have various different ways of marking it rather than using the same sticker every week. So it's really cute. And I love the wee one that has that face <laughs> over the one that's smiling. Adorable. Got one of them. This is what I'm talking about. So I got the large forest doodles to go with the Out of the Woods kit. And she just picks out various features in the kit and turns it into little doodles. And you can get this on its own and just add it in a spread or you can put it with the kit. And I always buy two of them because I like to do just that, what I said. <laughs> I like to use one in a spread and then I'm keeping one for whenever I use it with the kit. I'm gonna put that over there and keep them together. Then these are the out of the woods sticky notes that I was mentioning. So it's the sticky notes that you get within kits here only a little larger and themed towards that kit. And I always get them to match the kit when they're available. And I love these colors. Gorgeous, right up my street at the minute. And then I got some mini Christmas days of the week doodles. So I haven't had these before. So it's just the Christmassy version of these. So you have presents. What are they called? Mental blank. I wanna say peppermint sticks, but I don't know. You know what they are. I took a mental blank. Um, and then you have some Christmas baubles and a tree. Many Christmas days of the week doodles. And I got two. Then Christmas emoji variety sampler. An emoji decorating the tree, um, milk and cookies. This one's a gingerbread man. There's one wrapping presents. It's all just little things you would do throughout Christmas. That one's singing along to Christmas music, you could say. And that's me when I'm decorating the house. Um, this one, drinking tea. The little elf for the TV, like you would be watching Elf or something or a Christmas film. That is me on Christmas morning. <laughs> yeah, really cute. Just, and I like how small they are. Um, just to fit in the little spot in your planner spread. Then I got Christmas Doodle Countdowns. I actually had the Halloween version of these, but I've never had the Christmas ones. And I thought it would be fun to add in. So it goes from 20 and it's just various little Christmassy doodles. I love that one. Counting down to Christmas. And I probably got two. Yep, I did. Then I got the winter planning emojis. I've brought the bought the spring ones and the autumn ones before, I think. So you get an emoji with a stack of washi in like blue wintry colors, an emoji planning. It's a snowman holding a pen and an emoji planning with earmuffs. Cute. And then these are the large Icy Wonderland doodles to go with the Icy Wonderland kit. Love it that I have so many of wee stickers of him because it's my favorite and I'm not gonna wanna <laughs> use 
use it if I don't have more to use. I know I'm weird. Right, so this one will go with a kit and then this one I'll use at some point for a weekly thing. So then I have many winter days of the week. So instead of a Christmas version, it's the way this is autumn, this is winter. So it's a melted snowman, a penguin, and then a bunch of different hot drinks. I got two of them. And then finally here are the Icy Wonderland emoji sticky notes. All different shades of blue and ice and that one's wood. And, and then I got two of her new Christmas washi. It's called Cozy Christmas. I actually got, she just released Cozy Halloween, which I love. And it's basically the neutral version because I have a Christmas washi from her that's like really red, but this one is all the neutral colors. And I think it's one of my Chris, my favorite Christmas washies I've ever seen. I said that to her whenever she released it. And I'm so glad I have it in time for doing my Christmas week. I have been sitting here turning this in circles for about five minutes and I can't find the start. <laughs> there it is. Look at that, I can't even, it's gorgeous. So it has a very pale gray background and then it has silver metallics, like little Christmas baubles and music notes and sparkles. So there's an emoji decorating the tree and emoji drinking a cup of something, must be hot chocolate, and emoji getting meal or sending meal, and emoji wrapping presents, and then a gingerbread man, and the little tear is a milk tear. I just I I love it. Nothing <laughs> else. I can say about that. I actually wish I could have bought more, but it wasn't a pre-order and you could only get two. So all we have left to do is open this little washi tape, um, 15 millimeter washi tape. And um, so here's your warning. If you don't want to see it yet, if you haven't opened it, um, open it first and then come back and watch. So last warning, three, two, one. And I definitely want to save the front of that. That's adorable. A little emoji holding a carrot. So it's fruit and veg washi. Isn't that really lovely? Um, I'm gonna actually have to swatch it in my little book so that I can show you all the different things that come with it because there's so many that they're not all actually fitting in here. Give me one second. That's better. So I can get them all on screen at the same time. So it has a pale green background and then it's like a rose gold bronzy metallic with hearts and like little dots. So let me see if I can get all these right. So carrot, strawberry, kiwi, mango, garlic, watermelon, avocado, tomato, that's adorable, banana, potato, I think that's bok choy, pineapple, orange, lettuce, Apple, peach, look at the little butt, uh, is a cauliflower, and lemon. I might have got some of them wrong. She does have an advent spoiler video if you want to go and watch and she lists what they all are. I think I remember that rightly. Anyway, yeah, that's another fun one to add to the collection. And it's very unique. I can, you know, maybe you don't instantly think of fruits and vegetables when you think of a theme for your planner, but why not? It's something different. It's good to challenge yourself. Well, I have this out actually, I'll show you. That's the cozy Halloween washi version. So you can see it's the same kind of muted colors. There's a cozy Halloween kit, but she didn't actually release a cozy, Hallow or cozy Christmas in a kit. And I was really sad, but maybe next year she'll release it. But that's us for another day. And thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Take care and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.